Hey everyone, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, here with another sound system demo. This time we've got the 2020 Hyundai Ionic Hybrid. And this year, for 2020, it's got a new 8-speaker Harman Kardon sound system. It comes with a new infotainment display, so check that out, take a listen to some demo songs, take it on the road, listen to those songs as we're going. I'll give you my final impressions at the end. We've got a USB stick plugged into the system, with uncompressed WAV audio files and binaural high quality microphones in my ear. So if you use headphones, you're gonna get the exact experience that I have sitting here in the driver's seat. Before we get started, let's get out and take a quick look at the car. So this is Hyundai's Prius competitor. And I'm actually a huge fan of this car. It gets awesome fuel economy, according to the EPA, 55 city, 54 highway. Unlike most hybrids, it has a six speed dual clutch transmission rather than a conventional, sorry, continuously variable transmission. It's practical, it's affordable, it's efficient, and it's comfortable. And it's got a lot of high quality features. Be sure to check out our full review of the vehicle if you'd like to see more on it. But for now, let's get started. And we always start these tests with all the sound settings zeroed out, just how they came from the factory. So if we go down here to tone, see so we've got zero for bass, mid-range, and treble. Let's change those around a bit and get a sense of their adjustments. We've also got adjustments for fader and balance, front and back, left and right. You've got speed dependent volume control. That's about it for sound setting adjustments. System does go plenty loud. Looks like we've got 45 levels of adjustment. Let's head out on the road.
Now the engine doesn't really make much noise in the Ionic. At highway speeds you will see, or rather hear, that there's a decent amount of wind noise and tire noise. It makes sense for more of an affordable budget economy type of car like this. But oftentimes you're running on electric power at speeds like this, and even when the engine kicks in you really don't hear it too much. For audio inputs on the Ionic, you've got Pretty standard fare, Bluetooth, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Sirius, XM, FM, AM, and USB. You don't have a CD player or an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So if that's something you rely on, you'll definitely have to switch up how you listen to your music. You've got a big center volume button right here in the middle, and then volume controls and track controls here on the steering wheel. down here to give you an idea of how it sounds in terms of road noise and wind noise. So like I said, it's not the quietest cabin in the world. It gets a little bit louder when you open the sunroof shade. It is mostly road noise. There's a little bit of wind noise and the engine is completely silent. I mean, you, you can't hear it at all over the sound of the tires. Harden makes a wide range of audio systems. They make all the way up to the most premium systems that go into Mercedes, BMW, Volvo, and then they come all the way down here and make systems for $30,000 Hyundai hybrids. Now actually the last car I had was a Harman system. It was their Bowers and Wilkins premium system in the Volvo V60. And compared to something like that, this system really doesn't have the dynamics and the breadth and overall clarity. However, I do have to say, some songs come through really nicely balanced, such as this one. It's very clear, crisp, both in the highs and the lows. I'm really satisfied with it. A few other songs didn't sound quite as well parsed. Uh, one of the things that I really noticed was the bass is coming through too strong. One of the first things I wanted to do listening to multiple tracks was bring the bass level down a few clicks. And I think maybe the sound engineers got a little excited. They're like, hey, Hyundai's given us this big subwoofer we can work with, and let's pump up the bass, and, and customers will be impressed by that, right? Yeah, you're probably right. Fiat Chrysler's been doing it for years, and people are always impressed by their systems. But it's not 
how the song ought to sound. I'm sure if I were listening to some pop music or R&B, hip hop, that sort of deal, it would probably sound really good and pretty powerful. But when you're talking about a full range of songs, full range of sounds coming through in certain songs, when it's a little bass heavy like that, it just, it sounds a little bit cheap. If you'd like the review, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a bunch. Check out our other videos. Let us know if there are any certain cars you'd like to see tested. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor. We'll see you on the next one. Drive on.